I don't know from where we took this melody. I don't know from where my brain got this melody. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house, and today we have a great day to be honest because I am so excited. I've been thinking about this video for a week now, and I'm excited to finally film it. And uh, right now I'm looking at the list of uh, albums I really admired throughout the years, throughout this decade. And I really wanted, wanted just to share with you guys. So here's what's gonna happen. Uh, we had a long decade, well, through 2010 through 2019, I'm just gonna be naming you uh, some albums I loved and um, the highlights pretty much. And then I'm gonna tell you, again, okay, now from this bunch, here's my favorite album of 2010. And then we're gonna go like that to each year. And basically um, throughout the 10 years, we're gonna get 10 best albums of the decade so that's what's gonna happen um yeah so let's start 2010 we have recovery by eminem loud by rihanna the beginning by the black eyed peas plastic beach by gorillas doops and hooligans by bruno mars and my beautiful dark twisted fantasy by kanye west now this was tricky for me because i really love recovery i really love an eminem uh, one of the two favorite artists uh, of all time for me, but um, plus the whoops and hooligans, Bruno Mars, it's just packed with hits, like incredible singles that are really important for pop uh, history, pretty much. And um, Plastic Beach being a great album, the beginning in 2010, I've been listening to it a lot. Uh, Black Eyed Peas is one of my favorite bands still to this day, although they have been pretty silent. Uh, this decade, like uh, this past decade, but still. So, and loud, I mean, Rihanna, amazing, amazing artist. I, um, I will go with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, though, because uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is my number one album of all time, uh, and uh, my favorite album by Kanye West, who is my favorite uh, artist. So, that's why I just... I will go with my beautiful Dark Princess Fantasy by Kanye West, 2010. That's my favorite album from 2010. Uh, 2011, we have Planet Pit by Pitbull, uh, Born This Way by Lady Gaga, Sorry for Party Rocking by LMFAO, Take Care by Drake, Watch the Throne by Kanye West and Jay-Z, Nothing But The Beat by David Guetta, 21, by Adele and Milo Zylado by Coldplay. Now again, some of the most important artists for me on this list uh, we have, um, but I will I will go with uh, Nothing But The Beat actually by David Guetta. That's still one of my favorite albums of all time. And I just remember in 2011 how much I listened to this uh, album and even beyond 2011, I uh, pretty regularly come back uh, to songs from this album. The favorite David Guetta record for me and my favorite uh, uh, DJ is David Guetta and I actually I, th I Heard of Drake at that point in 2011, but but I haven't listened to Take Care at that time So, you know, if I made this video in 2011 talking about my albums of the year um, It would it would have been nothing but the beat for sure. So now 2012 18 months by Cal Harris Global Warming by Pitbull, yes. Uh, Wild Ones by Florida. Good Kid Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. Channel Orange by Frank Ocean. Babo by Mumford and Sons. Unapologetic by Rihanna. Unorthodox Jukebox by Bruno Mars. Now, uh, I mean, pre, there is one album that stands out, and that's Good Kid Mad City. You know, we. Uh, I feel like, you know, people will agree with me that it is the best album out of this bunch. But, however, I must say, in 2012, again, I've heard of Kendrick Lamar back in the day, in 2012, but I haven't listened to Good Kid Mass City yet at that time. So, in 2012, I know, I, I remember myself, 
I would have picked 18 months by Kellen Harris because Kellen Harris, uh, another uh, favorite DJ of mine, they get in Kellen Harris go type to type to me. Uh, Kellen Harris is amazing um, uh, songwriter, pretty much we can say. Uh, he is amazing, and um, 18 months is, is, is just full of bops, full of hits as well, uh, full of radio hits. Um, I really admire that record and to this day it sounds really fun, fresh and sort of even timeless. That's how dance music sounds like, you know what I'm saying? Like so, uh, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound outdated. In 2013, we have Because the Internet by Childish Gambino, Matangi by M.I.A., Hashtag Willpower by Will I Am, Random Access Memories by Daft Punk, Marshall Matters LP2 by Eminem, The 2020 Experience by Justin Timberlake, Jesus by Kanye, Nothing Was the Same by Drake, Kissland by The Weeknd, Long Live SF by ASAP Rocky, Beyonce by Beyonce, and Pure Heroin. By Lord, this this year was packed. God damn, there's <laughs> so many great albums. Um, well, um, I chose Nothing Was the Same by Drake. Yes, because that album, um, I, I actually don't know at this point if it's my favorite Drake album, but I've for a long time I've considered this record as my favorite album uh, of Drake's. And Drake is, uh, like when it comes to rap game, is one of the is in top three for me. After Eminem and Kanye West, Drake comes as number third uh, in rap. And um, definitely, if not in top five, in top 10 artists of all time for me, for sure. Uh, Drake is there and Drake, um, nothing was the same was amazing for me. Um, nothing was the same was introduction to me to me uh, to Drake's music when it came out it, like immediately when it came out I just I listened to it because everybody was on wave of like damn check it out check it out <laughs> Drake's album is amazing and I decided to give it a try because I already knew uh, songs like Take Care featuring Rihanna uh, back in the day so uh, I gave it a try and really fell, fell in love with that album and then after I think it was the same listen to Take Care as well um, yes yeah, so Drake Nothing was the same. Favorite 2013 album. By the way, in the comments below, uh, what would you choose from uh, 2013 as your favorite album? Let me know. In 2014, we have The Definition, Forest Hills Drive, 1989, The Pink Print, Motion, Listen, Piñata, In the Lonely Hour, X, Oxymoron, Kawaii. Um, and the artists you can see on the, on the list uh, by, by who this albums uh, are. My pick, that this, I think 2014 was the hardest one. As I was sitting and making this list, I was trying to choose and um, I decided to go, uh, even if it's not the best album of, uh, from this list, I decided to go with The Pink Print uh, by Nicki Minaj because uh, Nicki Minaj, I just remember how much fan I was back in the day, in 2012, in 13, in 14. Uh, I thought, like, Nicki Minaj is amazing. I mean, she's, she still is. It's just like she, like, the 2014 with the pink print was at her peak. And then she sort of, like, fell off just a little bit when it comes to quality of music. Sorry, I just realized that the microphone <laughs> was not next to me. Okay, now it is. Only like a little complaint there, like for the album itself. The uh, tracks Want Some More, Four Door, Aventador, Favorite, and Buy a Heart, like the that uh, chunk w from track 7 to track 10 is not the best. Um, if she cut it that and just left with from tr track 1 to track 6 and then from track 11 to track 17, it just it would have been a fire album, just like hits non-stop, just non-stop, like coming in, coming in, coming in. Like I think almost every track was on the radio and um, they were actually good, really, really good. 2015, we have Rodeo by Travis Scott, Beauty Behind the Madness by The Weeknd, Furious 7 soundtrack because I'm a fan of Fast and Furious and this soundtrack album was actually really good, uh, Caracal uh, by Disclosure, Purpose, by Justin Bieber, 
Jack Yu, Skrillex and Diplo, uh, To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar, 25 by Adele, Long Last the Sap by ASAP Rocky, The Incredible True Story by Logic, 50 Shades of Grey soundtrack. Um, I chose Beauty Behind the Madness by The Weeknd. 2016. Now, 2016 was the best year for music. I didn't even like name all of the albums uh, I admired and adored and uh, listened back in 2016, but this list still is full of albums. And um, yeah, these are all the highlights um, for me in 2016. So, Starboy by The Weeknd, Views by Drake, The Life of Pablo by Kanye West, The Human Condition by John Bellion, Encore by DJ Snake, For Your Eyes Only by J. Cole, Awaken My Life by Childish Gambino, Passion Pain Demon Slaying by Kid Cudi, Coloring Book by Chance the Rapper, Atrocity Exhibition by Danny Brown, We Got It From Here, Thank You For Your Service by Tribe Called Quest, Lemonade by Beyonce, Blonde by Frank Ocean, Birds Sing in the Trap, Magnite by Travis Scott, Malibu by Anderson Pack, Run the Jewels 3 by Run the Jewels, Blank Face by Schoolboy Q, <laughs> Majid Jordan by Majid Jordan, Culture by Migos, A Seat at the Table by Solange, Remember Us to Life by Regina Spector, Bob City by Terror Jr., 24K Magic by Bruno Mars, Konnichiwa by Skepta, and Eye Drops by Joey Perp. That's how many albums I decided to include on this list. Um, and I chose, although The Life of Pablo is, I consider the best album uh, for me in 2016, and it is a st uh, still best album for me, I decided to choose as a best album uh, the Human Condition by John Bellin because uh, the impact it had on my life and uh, the John Bellin's music I discovered in 2016 with this album. It was my first album by John Bellin and then um, I was listening to the whole discography of his, fell in love with his music and um, the just it really helped me. Like music was my therapy back in the day in my uh, hard times with uh, breakup. And um, also, it John Bellin's music particularly uh, made me realize that I need to do something in uh, music sphere uh, to make myself happy. You know, not only like pursue business, let's say, as uh, it was planned, um, but uh, maybe pursue a career in music. So um, yeah, so it, it it really that was the album that uh, pushed me towards music. Uh, industry now 2017 we have saturation 3 by brockhampton uh funk wave bounces volume 1 by Calvin harris sire by Jaden smith um without warming by metro Boomin, offset and 21 savage 444 by jay-z flower boy by tyler the creator uh divide by Ed Sheeran, More Life by Drake, Freudian by Daniel Caesar, Damn by Kendrick Lamar, The Space Between by Ma Majid Jordan. Uh, now the full list you might actually uh, see your, uh, for yourself in the 2017 uh, best albums of the year I made uh, back in the day. Uh, so, but but uh, in 2017 I chose Damn as uh, my favorite album. Um, Although I kind of like, I was thinking Saturation 3 is a better album for me, to be honest. Uh, I come back to Saturation 3 much more than Damn. I don't come back to Damn at all. Uh, but back in 2017, I felt like it was <clears throat> uh, deserved. It deserved the uh, album of the year back in the day. Um, yeah, so, but yes, we're sticking with Damn by Kendrick Lamar. Uh, in, in 2018, we had. Astroworld, Trench, Dirty Computer, Isolation, El Malquerer, Glory Sound Prep, uh, Not All Heroes Wear Capes, Iridescence, My Dear Melancholy, Shawn Mendes, and um, I picked Astroworld, if you can remember, guys. And last year, 2019, um, 
uh, I will just name top three because I mean I just recently dropped the video on it. If you uh, didn't see the video, uh, please check it out. Good albums. I'm actually proud of that list. But top three was uh, Ariana Grande. Thank you. Next, Tyler the Creator, Igor, and um, Ginger by Brockhampton. And my favorite album of the year was Ginger. So there you have it. Top 10 albums of the decade uh, by Music with Bob. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye West. Nothing But The Beat by David Guetta. 18 Months by Calvin Harris. Nothing Was The Same by Drake. The Pink Print by Nicki Minaj. Beauty Behind The Madness by The Weeknd. The Human Condition by John Bellion. Damn by Kendrick Lamar. Astroworld by Travis Scott. And Ginger by Brockhampton. Thank you so much for paying attention <laughs> and watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what were your favorite albums of the, the decade or last year. And also what do you think about my choices? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but though the albums I named throughout all these years, they are uh, really important to me. And that's what I've been listening to all these years. Um, thank you so much again. Hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.